What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is really a tutorial on how to do something pretty incredible with your Xbox One. As most Xbox One gamers know by now, they've recently enabled the Universal Windows platform for Xbox One, which allows PC applications to work on your Xbox One. And with this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can play a Nintendo 3DS on your Xbox One. I'll drop a link in the description. Nintendo hasn't made a Game Boy Player equivalent for its 3DS hardware that enables you to play these games on a television. So the company's unofficial modding community is stepping up to do this. You can play your 3DS games on an Xbox One using a Universal Windows platform app called UWP Streamer. With this program, which you can find on the Xbox One store, you can beam a 3DS game to a television over your wireless network and then control it with an Xbox One controller. This enables you to play something like Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D, Super Mario 3D Land, or Super Mario Kart 7 on the big screen in your living room. The end result works well, although you may experience some lag depending on your network. You may also have to keep your 3DS close in case you ever need to use it for touchscreen input. Beyond that, this is a new way to experience your portable Nintendo games. Here's how to get things working. Number one, you need a new 3DS running custom firmware so make sure you have that. Install the NTR Homebrew software that enables the Nintendo handheld to take screenshots and run mods. Install Input Redirection on your 3DS. On your Xbox One, search for UWP Streamer in the store and install it. Back on your 3DS, make sure it is connected to the same network as your Xbox One and set up a static IP for the device and network settings. Start the NTR program, start the input redirection app, start the debugger, then boot the game up of your choice. On the Xbox One, boot up UWP Streamer. For an IP address, use the static IP you set up on your Nintendo 3DS. Set priority to factor one, adjust the image quality to your preference, but the lower the number, the less data your network will have to transfer. For quality of service value, you can leave it at 15 or bump it up as high as 101 if you have a more modern or high-end wireless router. Click connect on the UWP streamer, and now you should have your 3DS game up and running on your Xbox One. If the connection fails, you may have to reboot all your devices and start from scratch, but hey, that's the price you pay for some duct tape together community software. This is actually really awesome. I actually don't have the custom firmware 3DS. I'm really big into the modding scene. I love modding, but I haven't had a reason to mod my 3DS. This might actually be a reason to do that, to play this on my Xbox One. I love the fact that Microsoft is allowing all these applications to run seamlessly across the Universal Windows app. Uh, things that work on PC now work on the Xbox. I think it's brilliant. I think it's really, really awesome that a lot of these applications now work on the Xbox. If you guys try this, let me know how you like it in the comments below. There will be links in the description for everything that you need from the custom firmware to the homebrew software. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can share your videos and support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.